Today I'm going to be talking about battery packs for the electric eel wheel fold. And while there's a ton of them out there that will work, the two that I'm going to be recommending today are this one, which is the Talent Cell battery pack, which I've recommended before for the electric eel wheel six and the cone winder. And I'm also going to be recommending this one, which is a new battery pack for me. I've been doing a lot of testing. I really like it. One of the reasons I'm getting this is because it offers a higher voltage, which you need to get the fold at full speed. Also, it is a USB-C battery pack with power delivery, which is easier to get around the world. A bunch of different battery packs like this will exist. And this is just an example of one that will work. Specifically, I was told this talent cell is kind of hard to get out in a bunch of places in Europe. So I wanted to look for something else that would work well. And uh, this is what I came up with. And I did confirm that this one's available in the UK and in other places in uh, Europe. So let's talk a little bit about this one first, the talent cell. This one's really simple and uh, the explanation will go a bit quicker. So uh, this one will come with uh, this Y cable and this is so you can charge it and uh, run it at the same time, but I don't recommend that. I recommend um, either running it or charging it, not doing both at the same time. And all you do with this battery is it is designed so that it will fit uh, directly into the bottom here. And I put it in upside down and that's so that when you turn it on, there's some little lights here that will light up and you can see about how full it is from looking at the bottom. Then you take this and you put it onto the bottom like that. And you attach the cable, ah, I've got a mess here. Sorry about that. Okay. So now it's just this cable and you just plug that in there and you plug it in here and at that point your whoops you got to turn it on okay so now it's on and now you're ready to spin so the only downside with this one is that uh, the max speed is going to be slower so it tends to go to about 2500 or maybe a little higher right now but i'm not spinning that can slow it down a little bit so there you see that uh, this is also using my new closed loop uh, control system and i've been tuning that a bunch i'll talk about it in a future video but so far uh, with just a little bit of tuning i've done so far I'm, I'm really happy with it so anyways back to the batteries so that's all there is with the talent cell battery uh, it's quite simple uh, I'll just show you the bottom of it in case that's helpful to anyone. So it's um, 12 volts, 6,000 milliamps at 12 volts. The, the length of time it lasts depends on a bunch of factors. I'll put on the screen approximately how long it lasts at different RPMs, but it can vary a little bit depending on the type of yarn you're spinning and things. But um, that'll give you sort of a approximation for how long you can spin at different RPMs. Now, let's talk about this new battery. So you'll see it's a lot smaller, but it actually lasts uh, pretty much the same amount of time. So you can just use the times that I listed before. Actually, those times were recorded with this battery, so they're even more accurate with this battery uh, than the other one. But I did find that, you know, they're pretty close to the same. It is a lot smaller, but it actually weighs about the same amount. So. Um, there is that. With this one, because it is smaller, you'll want to add a little bit of padding to it uh, on the sides and sort of in the back here, sort of hold it in place. Now that could be just like a little bit of foam or you know even fiber work. I've done a lot of testing at maximum speed. It doesn't get hot or anything, so there shouldn't be a problem with temperature or anything like that. Uh, oh, I just thought um, I could make a. Th I'll probably make a 3D piece that sort of holds it in here. Um, that's kind of overkill. I mean, really, yeah, I can do a 3D printed insert in here to hold it in place. Um, I like this one also because it has this RPM, or I'm sorry, a percentage full gauge, and uh, that fits right where you can see it. So again, you'll be able to see how full the battery is uh, from the bottom of the case. 
when you want to check how full the battery is after spinning for a while. So that's how it fits into the case. And let's talk a little bit about power delivery. So here's the back of this guy. And what you will notice is that um, it lists a huge number of different uh, voltages and currents. Um, but right here it lists uh, 12 volts at 3 amps. And then right next to it, it lists 15 volts at 3 amps. Those are the two that uh, modes that I'm using. So if you had an electric EO wheel 6, you'd get a cable like this that's rated for 12 volts. And if you have an electric EO wheel fold, you'd want to get a cable like this that's rated for 15 volts. And that just basically there's a little microchip right in the end here that negotiates with this power supply and it basically checks what kinds of voltages and currents it supports and then if it supports a correct one it will take it and if it doesn't support any it just won't supply power i've, I've tested it on battery packs that don't have uh, the correct power delivery specs and you know you just don't get anything out of it so uh, that's what there is with these cables and I'll have links to the battery pack and the cables both the 12 volt and the 15 volt in the show notes but all you do to use it is you just plug in the cable here you put this guy into the bottom there you click him in there and there now it's powered up at 15 volts and you can hit the full speed like that so that's all there is to it if you have any questions uh, definitely let me know and I'll be happy to answer them